Hello, this is Don Hirsch from Out of Nowhere, and I wanted to show you how to update your WordPress website. First, go to your WordPress uh, administrative login, and you'll go there by uh, going to your website name and then putting in wp-login.php or wp-admin, and you'll get to the WordPress login. Once you're there, go ahead and put in your username and password. If you don't know your username and password, you're going to need to ask your webmaster for that information. Once you log into your administrative password, you can see right away that there are updates. Whenever you have these red circles with the numbers, that means that there's updates needing to be done. What I like to do is here in Dashboard, which is where you open up originally, uh, I go to the Updates section. There you get a, a very good idea of what needs to be updated. In this case, we need to update the WordPress program. We need to update the plugins, two of the plugins. But it says the theme is up to date. But it really isn't. The theme is showing me it needs to be updated here. And it talks about the theme, the new version of this theme is available for download. Now, if you go back to the updates section, you can see I can just push a button to say update now or update the plugins, but there's no button for the theme. I'll show you how to update your theme in a little bit. But before we do any updates, what's really important is that we back up our website. We don't want to do anything with our website without having a current backup. So it depends on the backup program you have, but go to your backup program. Mine is in tools called backups, and I've got a backup I completed today. If I hadn't, I'd run a new one. If I've done any work since the last backup, I'd want to run a new one. I download that backup. and you can see it downloading here. And it's just going to take a few seconds to download. And then I can go to my downloads and there's my backup. Just downloading the backup isn't good enough because it might not be any good. So what I'm going to need to do is open it. I use a program called 7-Zip. You can find 7-Zip online, it's free and download it, just go to, to Google or Bing and put in 7-Zip and they'll take you to this website. Okay, now what I want to do is open that 7-Zip, um, I mean that archive, that zip file and make sure I got all my files. What I also want to make sure is I have actually a backup of the SQL as well. And it will be an SQL file in here. And I don't see that, so I want to make sure I go back and and get a backup of my SQL. So um, I want to add to that schedule, and this time I just want the database, and I'm going to do it manually. and I'm going to run this now because if I break my SQL my uh, my uh, SQL is my uh, data for WordPress and I want to make sure that's backed up as well and there it is I got the SQL file and it's good Now, I'm going to go back to Dashboard and click on Updates. Now that I've got the good backup, I can back up the different sections. First, I'm going to back up the plugins. Now, you can do them all together by clicking on Select All and then Update Plugins. Once they've completed, they'll show that they updated successfully, updated successfully, and then you can return to the updates section 
and you'll be able to see that the plugins are up to date. But you really want to go out and visit your website and make sure that it still looks okay, that it's that it's working all right, and uh, that that it's functioning. Because sometimes you'll get into doing these updates and it will break your website. Once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is any other updates you need. Now the WordPress program is the next thing I'm going to update. So I'll just click on Update Now. And allow... I don't go away from the screen. I allow the update to complete. It logged me out, so I'm going to log back in. And here's the new WordPress. And I can watch a video talking about what's new or read the features about what's new. I recommend that you do that whenever you update the WordPress program or the theme. You take a look at what's new because there may be some tools that you'll want to use. Again, go visit your site. Make sure it looks right. Now to update the theme, you've got to go to where you purchase the theme and download the theme files. Use a program like like FileZilla. It's one I like to use. Again, these are free programs. Whenever you download a free program on the internet, make sure you make you you know what it's downloading. That it's not trying to download an antivirus program for you or some additional programs that may also carry some spyware. You want to just download the program you're interested in. Use an FTP program like this FileZilla and log in and go into WordPress content in the, in the uh, on the server and you'll see where it says themes and then you update themes you'll see the file folder for your theme you take the folder that you have on your theme and you go ahead and upload it you would take this one and move it over here and replace all the files this is the new updated theme and then move it over there. I'm not going to show that to you right now because it would take longer than this video uh, I want this video to be. But once you've done that, you'll need to go back in and visit the site again and take a look. Um, this, right now, doing this, um, it would because I only have one theme, um, we would have to go in and probably fix some of the um, pages and the way things look because the, the the updated theme may erase some of our settings. So what I recommend you do instead, I'll show you, is I'm going to show you a different WordPress installation. Make sure when you have your WordPress installed, if you do it yourself, that you install the your theme as um, a child theme. So when you go into your themes, you'll want to install a, the theme itself and then have a child theme that is the active theme. The child theme goes back to all these theme files, and this is what you update, but all your settings are done in the child theme, where, there, where um, you don't ever have to update that. It is just a settings file. So having a child theme is the best way to be able to update your themes. Otherwise, the update of the themes is going to take um, a major um, update of your pages, and it's going to take a long time. I hope this helps you. Um, if you have any questions, go to our website at outofnowhere.net and send me a message. Thank you so much.